Hey everybody, today I'm going to be unboxing, setting up, and giving you my initial thoughts of this Cabela's Alaknak 10x10 Outfitters Tent. Stick around on this gear review. Hi, my name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by clicking the like, the subscribe, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get on with this week's gear review. I show you all the features inside of this tent I want to kind of talk about why did I buy this tent um, as you guys might know or if you're new to the channel I spent 10 days last year uh, on a hunting trip camping inside an ice fishing hut um, this is a small ice fish hut it's like probably six feet by six feet heated up with uh, only propane little little buddy heater I did it but it wasn't comfortable um, this tent will replace that for me and it'll also give me a better option for me to take along my two kiddos with me as they're growing up I want to be able to take them up on hunting trips and there's just not enough room for the three of us to sleep in that ice fishing fishing um, hut so that's kind of the reason why I got it this is not a backpacking rig this is absolutely a rig that I will use with the truck or maybe pulled in with a toboggan but it's not lightweight um, the box itself says it's like 60 pounds um, but I'm really excited and uh, I guess that's enough rambling let me show you inside of it here and uh, my initial first All thoughts right, we're inside the Alaknak tent uh, for my first setup here from out of the box to setting it up it took me just under an hour to get this guy set up looking online I know that some folks can set it up in 30 uh, minutes or so it seems uh, but I think for the initial unboxing with kind of tying off the the guy lines and all that kind of stuff it might have taken a little bit longer but uh, I'm pretty impressed here within it um, this is a pretty large tent um, I am impressed here with the initial kind of ventilation um, I'm impressed with how much space and I'm impressed with some of the features all right this tent has tons of ventilation you guys can see that there is a window over there there's a window over there a window on top a window on top out on this side you also got a window on top ventilation underneath the mesh door has ventilation you got some ventilation up here that looks like you can actually open more with the velcro you also got a ton of ventilation up there in the ceiling 
Um, this thing looks great. It's got a cool, couple little cool features inside of it that I really liked as well. Inside of here you got these built-in organizers that are already set up and ready to go. They got these fold down kind of like cup holders, which are really cool to kind of have a little bedside table here uh, with the cot. So you got one, two, three, four of them, which is pretty rad. On the floor you have the zip out area that you can zip and roll away so that way you can have your wood burning stove. It even has a even has a little pocket down here where you can run an extension cord if you're gonna run power in here if you are on grid. Lots of other little attachment straps inside of here as you can see. Um, there's another one up in there. So almost every little spot has another little lash little attachment holder which is pretty cool and it came with this little bag as well and you know what I, I can't really tell exactly what it is I'm assuming it's kind of like a, a drying rack this side is kind of mesh and this side is the other side here is mesh with plastic on it so I'm assuming that this is something that you can use and maybe hang up in here to uh, maybe put some items in to dry or something like that but um, if you know what it's supposed to be for, let me know in the comments. There's the pocket on the floor um, for the bottom of the tent pole. And like I said, this thing is tall. Again, loads of little tie-down straps. The door here has them so that we can open up the mesh. You can see the outer door has them, which I already have kind of tied open. I think that this tie here is for the... Um, bigger mesh if we want to roll it down okay here's a quick look at kind of how much square footage you get so I have three cots in here I feel pretty comfortable that I can probably still squeeze three cots in here even if this floor was zipped up I think I can probably put a couple cots kind of beside each other in here if I wanted to with the boys I think there's enough width uh, so I think overall you'd probably be able to cram, you know, three people in here with the stove. Um, you know, maybe four people without a stove. Maybe a little bit more if you just slept on the ground on air mattresses. But there's definitely a lot of square footage in here. Which I like. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty pumped for that. I think that there'll be more than enough room in here for just me. And uh, with a few kids, if I take both boys with me. Again, like I said, I think that there's enough living space for us to, to go out on a fall hot tent camp. And for summer, like I said, you can cram a hell of a lot of people All in right, here. my friends, as you can see, we are inside the tent. We're gonna give it a try tonight. I got me and the snack squad. Both boys are in here with me. We're gonna give it a whirl. I think uh, tomorrow morning, it's supposed to cool down about as cold as um, maybe three or four degrees Celsius. So. I think we'll be just fine. We got our sleeping bags, lots of blankets and all that good stuff. So I think we'll be all right. So anyways, yeah, we're going to check it out. But yeah, so far this tent's working good. We got lots of space. Love the little cup holders and the little organizers. Found a way to kind of lash that little mesh hangy thing across the, the ceiling, which I think is kind of a cool way to hang out some gear. So maybe I'll show you that right away before we hit the hay. But uh, yeah, I think other than that, we will catch up with you in the morning. Night, good day we had a pretty good sleep in here last night um, I would say we were definitely warm enough uh, woke up this morning and there was certainly a bit of condensation on the roof I did close off the big windows last night just on the crazy off chance if we would have gotten rain I didn't want water to leak in on the kiddos uh, but we did have a little bit of condensation but she's been drying out here most of the morning um, and it's all dried up already uh, so anyways I know I will absolutely be using this on a few other trips here soon, so I would recommend if this was your first time here, you might want to hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss any of those videos that come up. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to using this throughout summer, um, definitely into fall and hopefully out into winter. But first thoughts on it are that this is, you know, seems to be a pretty good tent and I'm uh, definitely excited to take it out on some other outdoor adventures. But uh, yeah, once again, if this was your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please hit that subscribe, the like, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors.